Hey guys, this is Rose Gonzalez. I'm Steve Gonzalez with the Gonzalez Real Estate Team. And today we'll, we're going to talk about our transition from the Bay Area to Rockland, the pros and cons, and just some of the things that we've experienced here to just share with you guys what it's like living in the Rockland area, the Sacramento suburbs, and how it compares to when we lived in the Bay Area. Yeah, we're even going to highlight our time in the Bay Area and what we love about the Bay Area and why we left the Bay Area. So we're going to talk about some of the things that we loved about the Bay Area and how that compares to living here in Rockland and some of the different things that we've seen. So um, I guess we can get started with like why and how we moved to this area. Well, I want to first, you know, start off by saying I was born in Fremont, California, and I moved a lot through the Bay Area my whole life uh, until maybe about a year and a half ago. And I've lived in Fremont, Newark, Union City, Hayward, Pleasanton, San Ramon, Dublin, Antioch, Pittsburgh, and I'm sure there's some other cities out there as well. So I definitely have experience in the Bay Area. I was out there for a long time. And there was one time we moved in 2022 to 2007, we lived in Southern California. So we have experience in, in the San Diego area. And, you know, when I moved out there in my early 20s with Rose and our only daughter at the time, Jasmine, um, loved it for a little bit. And then I started to get homesick. I really yeah. missed the Bay Area. I felt like I left home. And it's weird because now looking back, when we go to San Diego, I love San Diego. I can't say anything bad about it, but at the time, my heart was in the Bay Area. So, I mean... Well, we also even looked in the area. So, where we lived in San Diego, we went back to go check it out, try to see, you know, how we like it out there. And again... What do you it, mean? Uh, remember, Recently? Yeah. 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 And so, even that didn't feel like home when we checked it out this last time. So... And nothing, like I said... I recommend San Diego to everybody. It's probably one of my favorite places I've ever been. And visiting there, she, her dad and brothers and sisters live out there. We love San Diego. We love going out there. Our time for the five years we were there, I got to learn a lot about the area because I had a, a delivery route and I got to drive from... The coast. Yeah. Every single day I saw the ocean. Carlsbad to La Jolla, five days a week, I was on the coastline. So, I mean, I got to learn a lot. But when I'd go back home for like Thanksgiving and see my family and friends in the Bay Area, I had a hard time going back to San Diego. Um, and that was just me inside. I, I, I felt like home was the Bay Area. So when we came back in 2007, I was like, oh my gosh, it's just different. The Bay Area is just the Bay Area. They have a lot of culture, a lot of roots there. And, and I mean, the Bay Area is known worldwide for a reason. Love the Bay Area. Um, but I think it was around 2018, 19, and 20 where we were looking to buy a family house and the prices, the, the biggest thing for our, for our transition out here was just the prices of real estate. We couldn't keep up. Like even though our income kept increasing every single year, yeah. it seemed like we couldn't keep up with the real estate market. And that's what got us to see. And I think a lot of people from the Bay Area as well, yeah. to see what else is out there because it's just... There's only so much you're willing to pay for a 1,200 yeah. square foot house well, built in the 70s for 1.5 million, yeah. 2 million, you know? Well, when we first started doing the search, we even ventured out, you know, from San Ramon to Livermore because we wanted to keep our kids in their school district or close to it. And then um, we wrote a few offers on, you know, these homes in Livermore, and they were already a really far drive for us because our base was in San Ramon um, and we were getting you know outbid just like everybody else and we were looking at these you know 1100 square foot homes for like 1.1 1 .1, and then it kept creeping up to 1.2 and we're like okay there's a point where I want to enjoy our life I want a house that's big enough for a family and and you know my mom was also having um, you know needing a place to stay as well and so we were like, okay, well, you know, we can't really fit a family of four at the time um, in a 1,100 square foot home, plus maybe taking in my mom as well. So then we started thinking, okay, well, you know, where do we go? Yeah. And I remember I was willing to look at different places in the country that 
you know, because 2020, 2021, when the shutdown happened, I think a lot of people just started fleeing the Bay Area and you see it everywhere. So you're hearing states like Texas, Idaho, um, just Florida. so many Florida. Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't know anything about these places. I've never really been to Las Vegas. There's I so many, right? Even, like told your family that we were moving to Texas. Going to then. Texas. And we were like, you're like, we're moving to Austin. <laughs> you know, and then looking into it, I just wasn't, I didn't want to make a, a big move like that where I wasn't a hundred percent convinced that it was the right decision for me and my family. It's a big move. Right. Um, so you mentioned that there was, this place called Rockland, which I've heard of before, but we've always driven past it on our way to Tahoe or Reno. Yeah. And I was like, we're going this weekend. When she said, I was like, we're going this weekend. Cause I knew it was close to a little bit past Sacramento. It was a little bit cheaper and nice. And we went that weekend into a JMC community. Yeah. Well, so I actually had like this vision of what we wanted. I told you we wanted a new construction because I needed time to like, you know, adjust things because we had our whole business in the Bay Area and then our children's school. So I was like, okay, let's do a new build because I need that extra time to like really soak in the fact that we're moving out of the area. And um, so I wanted a single story home, new build, and you kind of found like what we were <laughs> looking for. Um, and that was the first community that we went to. Yeah. What was it? Two uh November of 2020 and coming out of it was the height of the pandemic and, and starting to kind of um relax a little bit on that so we're able to the kids I think had hybrid school so it was trying to get back to normal but it wasn't so our experience out here it was weird because it's a developed city but it almost has old school country vibe to it. Yeah. Even though it's super developed, like there's, I was a little worried because I was like, I don't know what's out here until, you know, living here. Then you realize there's so much out well, here. So the thing with Rockland though is kind of, it has like two areas, right? So yeah. you have like old Rockland off the 80 and then you have Roseville that kind of intertwines with it. And then you have like the newer part of Rockland. I mean, there's new homes in the older part, but like we have the Whitney Ranch area off the 65 and there's, you know, stuff that you drive through on the 65, but the exit that we took was Whitney Ranch and there was like nothing on the freeway. We weren't sure. Yeah. Anyways, we go through the models and we find the perfect home. And what also sold me is we stopped at a place called Thrive before. It is a healthier smoothie place. And walking in there, and the owner was there, and he greeted us and shook our hand and talked to us in such a friendly, welcoming, welcoming way that we haven't experienced, yeah. especially during the time we came in the Bay Area in a, in a while. Uh, our experience from being home yeah. for, what, a year and a half, I feel like that's when I noticed that people are just fast-paced and people fast are so paced. consumed, which I get because I was one of them, with their own life. They're trying to... They have so many things going on that it's what's the cliche term, not enough time to smell the roses. And then we came out here and that was our first experience. But when I looked at this model as well, another lady stopped and talked to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, She was from the Bay Area and she's been out here for a while. Everybody out here is from the Bay Area, it seemed like. Um, so that's one thing that really stuck out. Like, whoa, a lot of people are just t taking their time to talk to us yeah. like normal people. And we really miss that. I love that. Yeah, so, um, you know, we ended up, like, finding the lot that we wanted, and, um, you know, it was kind of one of those things where just the whole time we're anticipating the move, and so finally move day comes, and so we move in, and there's literally no one on our street, so the court had moved in behind us, there's probably, what, like, six houses, but our whole street was empty for, like, two months, two months. so Stephen would cool. go and fix the garage because we have like a gym and he was painting the floors and he literally met all like a ton of neighbors that were coming to see their house and they would stop and like say hi to him and you know and it's so refreshing because he comes inside he runs inside he's like I met another neighbor <laughs> and we just you know you don't really see a lot of that coming stuff. from the last two neighborhoods yeah. we were in um a total of maybe eight years yeah. shoot i'll say even the last three neighborhoods 
we just didn't have that feeling maybe because we're just so busy ourselves yeah. i was so busy with work and so was rose that i didn't have time to pay attention to the community and the neighborhood like i would like to but coming here it's almost like the community throws itself on you yeah every, yeah, there is every holiday every function um so we actually have a community facebook page with just the building uh, the builders community so we live in prominence in whitney ranch we have neighbors of prominence and then we have block parties for like christmas um fourth of july i mean all the girls get together for like baby showers and birthdays and do you remember coming home one day and someone was door knocking our door and we're like, <laughs> oh no it's a salesperson is the mayor of rockland just getting out meeting people and, yeah and it was pretty cool we, yeah and it's actually she's very personable yeah. too it's like i don't remember ever like really meeting the mayors of other towns that i've lived in unless i went to like one of their events and um it's really refreshing to see how much she wanted to meet the neighbors in the new community and that's why she was door knocking and the cool thing is that she's actually um engaged in the community and i have um, an instagram account called experience rockland where we support local businesses in the area and she's actually done a video with me personally to like talk about rockland and um, we're starting our first networking event and i messaged her like hey do you want to come to our first event she's like of course i do so it's really cool to see how involved she is in the community and you know that kind of speaks a lot about where we are and why i love this instagram account that you've created experience rockland is it gets us out in the community and it highlights small businesses and things to do in rockland so we just go to these businesses and we say we want to do a reel on your on your business and they're so well like we've met yeah. so many owners of businesses that bring us in and show us around and we're actually going to be going to a winery this friday with a different business with a di owner. So two business owners, the winery owner invited us to come to the winery. And then another business owner at a bar is going to be coming with us. And we're going to shoot a reel there and just hang out. And it's been really nice to meet the community like this. And yeah. I'm not saying we you can't do that in the barrier, area, but the lifestyle here has been able to slow things down for yeah. us to where for we could sure. meet so many people and, and learn so much about the community. And we just want to get on this to just – Talk about both both sides. We, we yeah. when it comes to the Bay Area, we go there all the time. Still, we're we were in the Bay Area three or four days last week. Yeah. It's not always and that this weekend. We're, we're going, going again. Yeah. Um, it's not too far. It's what about an hour and a half drive. So we have a grandson, um, uh, son-in-law, our daughters out there. We still do business out there, so we definitely go out there. Um, but it, it, it's it's nice to leave somewhere and feel like you're back at home. That's yeah. what Rockland has been to us. So really uh, thankful for finding this place. Yeah, we love it out sure. here. For sure. Um, and, you know, like on top of that, it's, you know, easy access to a lot of different places that we'll drive like four hours for. You know, we are close to the Sierras, um, Reno, and, you know, still not far from the Bay Area. So I really like that we're able to move somewhere with more affordability. Um, you know, a lot of people are moving here for the affordability. You know, it's still um, certain areas of Rockland, Roseville, Lincoln are still below the California median prices. Um, so they can get a lot more money. I mean, a lot more home for, you know, the money. And so we're seeing a ton of people from different places, the Bay Area, um, Orange County, LA. Yeah. <laughs> right. You'll, but you'll you get know, a lot we, of from we there. do see a lot of people also coming from different areas. So it's becoming more diverse here as well. Um, you know, we have a neighbor that came from Orange County again, people behind us from Texas. Exactly. You know. So they left, um, actually they left Canada. California. Okay. They left California to go to Texas and came back, yeah. um, as a neighbor behind us. Um, so there's just a really like mixed group of people. It's the school systems are great. Um, our both of our kids were kind of struggling to keep up with school, um, and then we move out here, and you know the support that we have from the schools, which we had support in San Ramon as well. But like they just San Ramon's school system was really yeah. Good. Really but good, yeah. um, I just felt like they were thriving. Um, 
in the school year that we were here. Yeah, big time. And Both of our kids, um, especially Anthony, our, our 12-year-old, as soon as he got here, I don't know what it was, a combination of meeting different people, being in a different school system, and him yeah. maturing, but he excelled so much, like almost as soon as he got here, into fifth grade and sixth grade. So one of our biggest worries is like, how are our kids going to do out here? And well, we were worried about Elijah first. <laughs> yeah, all our kids are thriving our, out here. Our three and a half year old, when we moved, he cried for literally like two oh, months yeah. at this new school. And then now, like being here for over a year, he's like talking and his confidence is awesome. Like yeah. he just, you know, kind of grew as well. And so you see this confidence in our kids. And, you know, our daughter Allison moved here. It was really hard for her because she was a senior and she didn't know anybody and when we first moved here there were still masks at the school so and she coming went from remote learning yeah high school year yeah to and then seeing her friends on social media oh, back together yeah. so it was really really hard for her but now she's graduated she's she's friends. thriving at, at she, jobs out here yeah. she's got um her dream boyfriend they're going to school together they're going to college soon we love yeah. him to death um, it's it's been a it's been a really good experience. If you guys are from the Bay Area or even outside of the Bay Area and you're just thinking the same thing thoughts we did, and one being so expensive at other areas and want to learn more about this area, this is why we want to get on this and shoot this little podcast so you can hear from we're not just saying this, this is what we truly believe. We speak it all the time. We absolutely love it out here. And yeah. we think if you guys have a family, a growing family, and you want a fresh change, take a look at this area. Um also look at our account. We we have videos on Lincoln, Folsom, Roseville. We're going to be posting top things to do in Rockland, what, next weekend? And you can get a lot of information from there to see if it's a good fit for you guys. And that's kind of our goal. Just spread the word. What, what a good place I feel like we found. Yeah, yeah. It's like a hidden gem. Well, we actually, uh, we went to... Um, Oliver's or no I'm sorry it was painkillers and yeah. we sat with the owner there and so his bar is actually in Rockland and he was like oh my gosh I wish I would have like bought a home in Rockland years ago and he's like you know the community here is awesome they've all supported my business and so to hear that from an actual business owner um, that has a shop you know, in Rockland is really good to hear because he says the community is just taking him in, um, been very supportive of like what he's doing in the community. So um, that again, just kind of shows like, it's not just us saying it, it's businesses that are being supported by the community too. So we hope you enjoyed our video. Um, we got on here and just wanted to give our experience. Love the Bay Area, love San Diego. We love California. We moved to Rockland. We love it out here. So if you guys want more information, just scroll some of our videos. And, and we've been putting a lot of good content out there about this area. And feel free to comment or message us. We'd be happy to if help. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to give a little love, love to that subscribe to that button. button. That's and your we'll, thing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's our thing now. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.